everything. All right, guys. So we are back in Code Academy, introduction to JavaScript, doing their their basic course, and we are in arrays and loops of arrays. Arrays are a, another type of another data type. Technically, I believe they're an object, um, but a crucial, absolutely crucial thing you'll be using all the time in JavaScript and any programming language. So what is an array? An array is basically just a list of object, a list of data. So there's a, you'll see right here, repel into class, you'll separate it by a comma. This would be index zero. This would be index one, index two. So arrays go based off, start at index zero. So uh, make sure you code for that later on. Let's go ahead and jump right in though. So you, you would create it simply like any other variable. So we're gonna start a variable and we're gonna call it bucket list. And we're gonna set it equal to an array of string th uh, three strings inside. So in my example, we're gonna say uh, 100k subs. That's on the bucket list. We'll also say um, menage en trois. No, um, <laughs> uh, uh, 24 hour coding stream. And then we're gonna say um, five five hundred Patreon subscribe um, Patreon supporters. We'll put that on there. So we have three things in here. Index zero is our hundred K sub goal. Index one is our twenty four hour coding stream, and then uh, index two is our five hundred Patreon subscribers. Now let's go ahead and console.log this out. So we can log out the values just by doing, calling the variable and printing out like we would anything else. We'll get a list of our stuff. So this is everything that's in there. Cool. Um, arrays are denoted by these brackets as well, if you haven't noticed. Now say we only wanted to select a single item from the array, we can do that as well. So let's create a variable called list item. And we're going to go ahead and set it to the first item of the array, or index 0. So we're going to say bucket list. And again, we have the brackets with our array. And we're going to say bucket list 0. And then we want to go ahead and print out that first item. And we can do it like so. Just going to run this. So there's our 100k subs first item. Now, we want to go ahead and reset that value. We can do that as well. And we just... We'll target list item and we'll reset it equal to bucket list to the third item or the second index spot. Like so. All right, uh, and then we'll go ahead and log that out. So we'll console.log one more time the list item to get the third item out or their second index spot so 500 patreon support supports probably should be supporters try to log the item at position three to the console oh excuse me they want us to log out the third item or the index three um this will not work because there is no index three we're going to get an undefined error Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. This should work just fine. Yeah, this is what they're asking for. Now set the list item variable to the third item in the bucket list. The third item in an array will be at position two, yeah. Try to log the item at position three to the console. We're doing that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the code. I think uh, the browser is being a little weird. Oh, I see what's going on here. They wanted us to actually set the list item value to the third position and then reset it. Uh, sorry about that. A little bit of misunderstanding of the instructions. Let's go ahead and create a 
list item, set of equal to first item. All right, we gotta start all over. So we'll do uh, list item. So we'll do var list item, and then we'll go ahead and set it equal to the first item in the array, which is bucket list zero. That should solve that. And use console to print out list item. We have to go one by one here. I think so. Go ahead and run that. It's weird that they give you the code, but it doesn't actually fully run. Now we want to go ahead and set the list item third item in the array. So we'll do that one more time. So we're going to target the second index as we did before. That'll be good. Go ahead and run that. So we should. Oh, they're giving their examples now. And now we just want to go ahead and target list item and we want to set that equal to bucket list third index that doesn't exist or is undefined at this point rather. And we'll get our undefined and we'll be done with this little hiccup that we've had here. Now arrays like every everything else already have some built-in functions that you're going to be using quite a lot. If we wanted to find the length of the array, we could simply call dot length onto our array like so. Now you'll use this a lot, a lot of the times. Now keep in mind that the length is always going to be one more than the final index number because length starts at one and goes to whatever how many items you have in it while your indexes start at zero. So something to keep in mind not to mess up your math. Find the length of your, oh, excuse me. This needs to be our bucket list. There we go. So the array then dot length. So we have a length of three, one, two, three, and it goes up to index zero or index two in this example. Now, say you want to add some things to an array. It's pretty simple. All we have to do is say bucket, the array, and in this case, bucket list dot push. This will actually add the item to the end of the array. Push adds the item to the end of the array to this third index spot, and then a fourth index spot, and so on and so forth. So we'll, we'll go and just put hello, and then we will go ahead and do bucket list dot push. And then we'll put world as the second one in here. And this will add it to the end of the array. Let's go ahead and run this. So now we have a length of five because we've added two items to our original three index spot. Uh, and just to check that everything is good and it's added, we'll go ahead and console.log it out. And you'll see our five values. One, two, three, four, and five. Cool. Cool. Now say you want to remove the last value of an array, you can do that using the pop method. So to do that, just as simple as push, no parameter to include, you just simply do pop and it'll remove the last value. So our world will not be in there anymore and hello will be the last value. Push, you supply something to add to the array, pop will, to the end of the array, pop will remove the last value on the array definitely a crucial part of arrays now what did we learn here we learned that arrays are lists we learned that they start at index zero we learned that we can get the length of it which is always going to be one more than the last index and we also learned that you can add on to the end of the array using push and you can remove uh, the last item of the array using pop so i hope you guys found this helpful as always, thank you for the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and share and support me on Patreon. It's appreciated a ton. And keep up the grind. Keep up the hard work. I know this is an introductory thing. And if you're if you're struggling with it, it gets easier. It'll start to click eventually. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.